Hello, this is Chris, and I am back with another reaction video. Will the mayhem ever stop? Will the pain ever end? I don't know. But what I do know is that we've got a brand new Transformers The Last Night official trailer to get through. This is official trailer 3. This went up a couple of days ago. This has really been the first chance I've had to jump on a reaction for it. I got tied up with the Thor Ragnarok trailer and the Fast and the Furious 1-7 to discussion. And obviously Star Wars Celebration began yesterday. So I've been very busy watching that and getting content out for that as well. But you guys knew I'd get a reaction out for this. I've done a reaction to all the other trailers that have come out for Transformers the last night. And I've talked at nauseam about my entire thoughts on the franchise. So I'll keep it very brief in case we have any newcomers today. I hate these Michael Bay Transformers films. I'm a big fan of the 80s Generation 1 G1 cartoon of Transformers. I own all the DVDs of all the series and the 80s movie as well. Love that series, love the characters, and I've said this before, you know, it's not high art or anything like that, it's not complex, but the characters were likeable and there was a genuine connection and camaraderie and banter between all of the characters and that's what I think I appreciated the most. Um, but yeah, I don't like these Michael Bay films, they very rarely focus on the Transformers, it's always on the human characters, really cringeworthy comedy, and from what I've seen of the trailers for this new one, this one isn't doing anything particularly new, it looks exactly like a carbon copy of the previous ones that have come out, but um, you know, I feel like a battered housewife at this point, like I just keep coming back to these films, hoping that one day they're going to be good. And you know they've confirmed that they're going to do a Bumblebee spin-off movie, which I'm actually interested by because the director of that did Kubo and the Two Strings, which was one of my favourite films from last year. One of my favourite animated films in general, really a good grasp of character, so I'm hoping he brings that to Bumblebee. But we're talking the main series of Transformers films here and five movies in. Do you really care about these characters? Because I know I sure as hell don't. But anyway, that being said, we're going to watch the trailer together now. Hopefully this one wins me over with something. But, you know, we're three trailers in now. And these haven't really been doing anything for me. So we're going to watch the trailer together now. I'm going to talk much more about it afterwards. So I'm going to click play now. It started as a legend. One of the greatest of all. thousand <laughs> years we've kept it hidden. To protect Earth from okay. what is destined to arrive. I guess the Earth Autobots cried. were on the round table, right? You destroyed your home. Do you seek redemption? My maker, I do. I do love Peter Cullen. Optimus Prime. He, he was there from the beginning, you know, G1. Oh, daughter, the music. Okay. What did you say to her? Brush your teeth, work hard. Stay away from any boy in a band, especially a drummer. And this is where I don't care about the film. I hate these human characters. Just give me the Transformers. Without leaders, chaos reigns. That stuff in the street looks like. I think I said this last time. Metal Gear Solid 4. Colliding. It's the ship from Dark of the Moon on the moon. that stand in its way. And now the greatest mission of them all to turn the tide of human history. See, this whole, like, King Arthur, Knights of the Round Table thing, it really doesn't suit Transformers, but they always try and have that historical element to it, you know. The imminent destruction of everything we know and love begins. I'm not leaving you. When all seems lost, a few brave souls... Save everything we've ever known. I really hope that's Unicron. The operation is over. We're not giving up on Prime, okay? That's what I feel like as a fan. I'm not going to give up on Prime. I hope he finds his redemption someday with a better director. For my world to live. Yours must die. Okay, we got the Dinobots back. Obligatory, awesome Optimus Prime slow mo shot. Okay. 
And I do love that Steve Jablonski music as well, even if it is just a few piano chords throughout. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to say it. Now, don't get me wrong. This film will still be awful. I know it will be awful. I've gone through this before. I've gone through this through four films before, and they've all been exactly the same. Actually, the first one, I can kind of watch the first one. The first is like a really just dumb, loud popcorn action flick, but I remember when I first watched that movie, it was kind of cool. Um, I've watched it since, and it doesn't hold up as well as I thought it did, but, I mean, the rest of this series of trash. This is the best trailer that's come out for this movie so far, and I've spoken about this on my previous reactions. I'll link those in the description below. Um, I've been very shocked at how wildly bad and awful the trailers have been for this thing. Usually... Even though I'm not excited for these films and I know exactly how they're going to go, this isn't going to do anything different to the previous ones that have come out. But there's always been something in the trailer that's got me excited for them or a reason to go to the cinema and see it on the big screen. And the previous trailers that have come out for this have really just done nothing for me. This is the best trailer we've had so far. And I think that's because I have a greater sense of what's going on with Optimus Prime's character and the Transformers in general in this one. Now, even in this trailer, they are still completely sidelined and the humans are the biggest focus. I really wish, like if someone handed me the script for a new Transformers film, I'd look at all the pages with the humans in, which would be about three quarters of it, maybe even more, and I'd just rip all the pages out and throw them aside and say, right, go and rewrite it and make all the Transformers the characters. That's what we need. But when I saw Optimus Prime go evil, and it's been years since I've watched the G1 cartoon, but... I might be wrong, I think there is a storyline where Optimus Prime does go evil for a while. Um, if someone's more familiar with it than me, please do drop me a comment down below. Um, I thought it was just kind of a gimmick, you know, like Megatron or Galvatron as it should be. And I actually had a lot of comments on my previous Transformers reaction where I called him Galvatron in the trailer and people were just bombarding me with hate mail saying like, this is Megatron, you don't know your Transformers shit. Megatron became Galvatron in the last movie, in Age of Extinction. They took the body of Megatron and from that they created Galvatron, which was a new entity. It was a reincarnation of the Megatron character. This happened in the G1 cartoon with the 1980s movie where Unicron took Megatron and reinvigorated him as Galvatron, gave him a new ship, gave him new henchmen. And, you know, Mokobay did take that Megatron character in the previous movie and made him Galvatron. So technically in this movie, he should be Galvatron as well. Unless they're going to do some kind of time traveling bullshit where they go back to Arthurian times and technically it's Megatron back. Um, I don't know, but the look of him does look a lot more like Megatron rather than Galvatron. So I guess they're just completely forgetting what they did in the previous movie. Um, what else can I say? I like that they've actually addressed the fact that Optimus Prime was kind of the cause for destroying his home world of Cybertron. That was one of my biggest rage-filled moments when I went to see Dark of the Moon. I almost got kicked out of that screening. I've never been kicked out of a screening in my life, but I was just so angry at what I was witnessing as a Transformers fan. I was pretty much just shouting hate at the screen. Um, everyone else was really into it though, so I'm sorry if I ruined their movie-going experience, but I had to make my case clear. The fact that the Autobots, and they say this in the first movie, all they want to do is bring life to their planet. And when their planet is being beamed right next to Earth in the third movie, they sever the connection, which causes Cybertron to implode, and none of the Autobots refer to it. There's not even a moment of regret or realisation from Optimus or anyone else. They're just happy that they beat Megatron. And even in the fourth movie, they never referred to Cybertron at all. And that really annoyed me as a fan because they, they don't care about these characters, these writers. They're just in it for the action and the dumb comedy. They don't care about the Transformers characters. And that's why I'd love to see this franchise in better hands with someone that does understand these characters and what they'd be feeling in an instant like this. So I like that in this trailer where we see that character talk to Optimus saying, you seek redemption for the destruction of your world. And there's another tie-in with Dark of the Moon in this as well, where you see the new alien craft flying in and it brushes past that crashed ship on the moon. I don't know why that's still on the moon. Surely with the technology we have today, we'd have retrieved that by now, salvaged it, took all the technology from it, everything like that. But um, it was a cool shot. And judging by the trailer as well, it looks like we're finally going to get a big all-out fight again with Optimus Prime and Megatron, which is how it should go down. Pretty much every movie, that was a big thing in the cartoon, but that was more episodic where they'd have a fight, Megatron would always flee at the end and then return in the next episode. 
but the whole Megatron thing in these films really just hasn't been handled well at all. In pretty much every movie, it's always another villain, and Megatron's either in the background or sidelined. In the third movie, he's barely in it, when Sentinel Prime was the bad guy. In the fourth one, it was locked down, and Galvatron was very much in the background. It's it's just annoying. They're just they're doing everything wrong with these movies. But as I said, I will still go and see this movie. We'll have reviews on all of the previous movies, including the '80s movie. Um, I'm four movies into this franchise right now, so I may as well see the fifth one, right? Hopefully the pain can't get any worse. I know it will. I know it's still going to be full of that really irritating comedy that I can't stand. I know that the Transformers are going to get sidelined and also be incredibly annoying themselves. But if I'm just speaking in terms of the trailer... This is the best trailer we've had for this film so far. So that'll do it for my reaction to Transformers The Last Night Official Trailer 3. Be sure to comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of this trailer. Are you looking forward to this film? What do you think of the previous ones? Anything Transformers related, please do drop me a comment. In terms of what's coming up on the channel, I think in a matter of hours actually, we're going to get our first look at the official trailer for Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi. I will be jumping on a reaction for that immediately as soon as the trailer goes on the net. So look out for that in a matter of hours. Um, there'll be more movie reviews as well on the channel. This weekend we'll have one for Fast and the Furious 8. There'll be more trailer reactions from me as and when trailers come out as well. So hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that bell icon as well right next to the subscribe button so you get a notification every time we bring out some new content. So that'll do it for me today and until the next video, which may be in a few hours time, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.